So here we are with another one of my crazy things. Uh, I have this um, lawnmower, electric lawnmower, that I fit in it with an e-bike battery. But now I was having trouble with this one, with this battery, which is like uh, 36 volts, 12 amps. And check on the internet and most likely what is wrong, it's not one of the cells, but it's the BMS here. Uh, I will have to solder this out and then get the new one, disconnect this, of course, and put a new one and see how it goes. I'm gonna try it. It was, buying a battery like this might be like $130. This thing was 17. So I'm gonna try that to see how it goes. If it works, great. Um, and But you needed the parameters in, in reality because the 10 series, 36 volts, gives you pretty much how many batteries it's gonna control. And the output, the maximum output power, is, which is 15 amps, is what you actually need to correctly size it. Okay, so I have just finished soldering the new one. It's the new B, uh, B battery management, BMS, battery management system. So B minus, P minus, and C minus. Then I connected all the batteries, the, the different connection points back. This one comes with a thermo uh, a sensor, I think. I'm gonna leave it on the side. And now I'm gonna test it. I already tested it here. I got for almost 41 volts, which is normal. Now I'm gonna test it with my lawnmower to see if it actually works and provides the necessary amperage. Uh, so here is the moment of truth. I connected the battery to my Frankenstein here. This is my lawnmower. So I expect this to, I'm gonna start it right now. I expect this to take like nine, 10 uh, initially and then go down to five or six or something like that. So let's go. This would have stopped or with the previous BSM, BMS battery management system. Uh, it was stopping like in the first five seconds. It would do, oh, and it would shut off. Um, so I'm happy with the solution. I hope it helps. It's a simple $17 fix and soldering those, those three things. That's it.